This chapter is a, just a short chapter about some other types of graphs that you haven't um, done maybe ever or recently. The first type of graph that you may or may not have done before is called a scatter plot. And a scatter plot is a graph that shows the relationship between two data sets. The two sets of data are graphed as ordered pairs on the coordinate plane. Um, so, for example, this graph right here is talking about fat and calories, and they're um, plotted. The x-coordinate of the point represents fat, and the y-coordinate represents calories. So let's just talk about um, the graph. How many calories are in the sandwich that contains 17 grams of fat? So you go to 17, you find that, and you say that it's 400 calories. How many grams of fat are in the sandwich that contains 600 calories? So you find 600 calories, and then you find out that that is 30 grams of fat. What tends to happen to the number of calories as the number of grams of fat increases? Well, it's not perfect, but it's, it seems to increase. Um, as the number of fat grams increases, the calories increases. What if a sandwich had 650 calories? So we go to 650, and it would be somewhere over here. So you would say, well, that's about, I don't know, you want to say 40? 40 grams of fat? Okay. There are four types of relationships. The one that we just looked at had what's called a positive relationship, where the data points seem to go up in a straight line. You can also have a negative relationship, where the data points seem to go down. You could have a nonlinear relationship, where they don't create a line. Or you could have no relationship, where the dots are just all over the place. So let's use that idea to determine the relationship. And we'll talk about outliers, gaps, and clustering as well. So first, let's talk about which picture about relationships does letter A look like. Well, it's not perfect, but I think it looks pretty linear. I think it looks like a positive relationship. So let's say it's a positive relationship. Okay, um, they want us to identify any outliers, and they tell us an outlier is a point that does not seem to match the rest of the data. So is there a point on this graph that doesn't look like it really goes with much of anything? Like if we removed it, then it would definitely look much more linear. I think this point right here is probably what cancels it, this 70-inch television that apparently was on the cheaper end because you you would think that the 70 inch would be up here so maybe they got it as, at a discount or something so the outlier is the 70 inch TV um, there's a gap right here so maybe they don't produce televisions that size or people just don't buy them but the gaps is between, um, let's say, 30 inches to 40 inches. I mean, there's a minimal gap right here, but it's nothing really that is necessary to write down. That's tiny. This, I think, is a much more significant gap than this one. And clustering, there seems to be clustering down at the bottom right here. So there's clustering around 30 inches. So that's probably like a really popular television size. Letter B, age and number of pets owned. 
is there a relationship between this? Like, does it seem to go up together, down together, non-linear? And to me, this looks like it has no relationship. For example, in the television example, I can give you a television size and you can probably predict where along the line it's going to land. If I tell you that I'm, um, you know, 48 years old, you can't necessarily determine um, what my number of pets is going to be. Um, there doesn't seem to be any outliers because they kind of all are outliers. Um, no, no gaps, no clustering, so we just have no relationship. I'd like you to get a piece of graph paper because I want you to create me a scatter plot for this practice example. So you're, go you're not going to draw it here, but you're going to make me a scatter plot. I want labels. So this will be study time. And this will be test score. And you'll determine what scale you want to go by. And also identify any outliers, gaps, or clusters. So please come in with a graph for this example when I see you next.